Good morning, mighty men. In the 1860s, revival came to Jamaica, and prayer was a centerpiece of that move of God. Even recent converts were powerful prayers. The prayer meetings were dynamic and filled with the Spirit. The lost were saved as deep conviction of sin came upon them, and they were overcome with a passionate desire to know Jesus and serve Him. The lukewarm and the backslidden came to repentance and experienced miraculous life transformation. This was happening throughout the whole region. They started prayer and Bible study meetings in homes, and they would have maybe 50 or 100 people packed into these small homes. In February of 1861, an American missionary named T.B. Penfield wrote this, quote, The revival has been spreading through a great portion of the island gradually and has now reached our side. This is the eastern side near Kingston. It is astonishing to see how it pervades all classes of society. And in a letter he wrote this, We have had glorious times at Providence since the commencement of the revival. Our church there has just about doubled its numbers already, and next Sabbath we are to receive 12 more. The church as a whole has been greatly blessed and quickened in the divine course, and several of the backsliders have been reclaimed. Then Penfield said this, quote, During all the times of excitement, my hands and mind were filled so that often I had no time to eat. And during the time that the excitement was at its height, I lost as much as one night's sleep out of every three or four. That's the way things are when God is moving. Imagine that happening in your community. Pray that that will happen in your community. That's what prayer and revival can do. Our Bible reading today is the first 11 chapters of First Kings. 2 and verse 1 says, Now the days of David drew near that he should die, and he charged Solomon his son, saying, I go the way of all the earth. Be strong, therefore, and prove yourself a man, and keep the charge of the Lord your God, to walk in his ways, to keep his statutes, his commandments, his judgments, and his testimonies, as it is written in the law of Moses, that you may prosper in all that you do and wherever you turn. And chapter 8, verse 10, And it came to pass, when the priest came out of the holy place, that cloud filled the house of the Lord, so that the priest could not continue ministering because of the cloud, for the glory of the Lord filled the house of the Lord. This was at the dedication of the temple. And then in verse 37, Solomon's prayer at the temple dedication, when there is famine in the land, pestilence or blight or mildew, locusts or grasshoppers, when their enemy besieges them in the land of their cities, whatever plague or whatever sickness there is, whatever prayer, whatever supplication is made by anyone or all your people, Israel, when each one knows the plague of his own heart and spreads out his hand toward this temple, then hear in heaven your dwelling place and forgive and act and give to everyone according to all his ways, whose heart you know, for you know uh, the hearts of all the sons of men. Let's pray. We want to, Lord, walk in your ways to keep your statutes, your commandments, your judgments, your testimonies. Lord, we pray that you would fill us, your temple, that your glory would fill us, and that it would be to your glory. Lord, we know that we have a famine in the land. We have pestilence. We, our enemy is besieging us. There is plague and there is sickness. But Lord, you say that whatever prayer, whatever supplication is made by us or by all of your people, when each one of us knows the plague of our own hearts, and Lord, that we would spread out our hands toward you, and that we would repent, basically, Lord, that you would hear from heaven, you would act, that you would give according to our prayers and our, our repentance, that you would move, Lord. That's what we pray in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we pray that we would have that kind of glory that they had in Jamaica and these other historical moves. We pray in the name of Jesus, the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Shalom, brothers.